notorious for disobeying court orders. The Department of State Services, DSS, on Thursday buried a team of legal practitioners led by Aloy Ijumako, the special counsel for the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Namdekano, for seeing him. Justice Binta of the Federal High Court, Abuja, had on Monday, 26 July, ordered the DSS to allow Kano's legal team and relatives to visit him in detention. She, however, stated that such access will not be free for all, noting that it must be recommended. The judge also declined the proposal of the defense counsel that Kano should be transferred to a correctional center, directing that it should remain in the custody of the DSS. In a statement obtained by Sahara reporters on Thursday, Ijuna 4 said the legal team were denied access to the IPOB leader by Nigerian security police. He said for the uptick time, denied us access to our clients today, insisting that our request would be looking into and accordingly approved by the DG before we could be granted access to him on the 26th day of July 2021. His Lordship, Honorable Justice, Binta Enyako of, of Courts Number 2 Federal High Court Abuja, after listening to our application, wherein I raised a serious concerns about the safety and the medical condition of our client whom originally was supposed to be produced in court on that day, other that the detention authority DSS should allow us have should allow us access to him. Upon our arrival in their office today, being the 29th day of July 2021, consequently armed with the court order or under reference, the officials of the DSS though admitted being aware of the said order directed us to come up with a formal application stating the name of persons who are visiting which request was promptly complied with why we awaited to be admitted for the visit the officials of the dss unfortunately came back to inform us that we should go and await further communication from them pending the approval of our request Attached for your case of ref reference in a copy of the court's order under reference. Details of the visit as worked out in his lordship's chamber by counsel on both sides and representatives of state security services. Collectively agreed upon by anyone is not stated in the attached order whose details are known to all parties on the modality of the visit. I am not surprised by the conduct of the DSS, who has a history of disobedience to court orders, but I am worried because we do not know the present state of health of our client. I cannot cat categorically confirm to the world the present state of Marzin Namikano as at today. It is to be pointed out that our client is presently detained in DSS facility to okay proceed to an order of court and another order made by the same court directing us our uh, directing our access to our client on specified days is unfortunately being floated by the officials of the state security services as they have no reason or justification of any kind to refuse us access we will formally communicate the court first, first thing tomorrow morning on this unfortunate and strange development and shall keep the world updated. Should anything untoward happen to our client, the Nigerian government and the Department of State Services should be held responsible. Let the world and all responsible foreign government take note of this dangerous trend. <laughs> I don't think that is good at all. I pity the DSS. They should pray nothing happens to Nandekano. If anything happens to him, that thing they have been looking for, they will see it. Nigerians are reacting.
All right, someone said it. I don't understand what all this all about. Why are they behaving like this in this zone country? Who is DSS that cannot even obey the rules and regulation of the country? The lawyer would have given. All right, someone said, uh, rest in peace to all southern governors for keeping quiet for a full animal to keep their own brothers because of money. This makes me cry each day my mind gets to all these freedom fighters that are in detention shall never be where with our governors. I know he is dead, but our people are just on Facebook speaking fake grammars without action. Ask your whatever they call their name, DSS, to produce Nandekano because Nandekano is not alive. All right, someone said, just in case, if anything happens to Nandekano, this country will never know peace. In fact, this radicality by the executive arm of government has become too much. Honestly, these doors float cut others anyhow, whereas it is still on the orders of the same court that Kano was reminded in DSS court study. Why then should the DSS float a, a court order by the same court that granted DSS privilege to remind Kano in, in the first place. Nigerians are still talking. Nigerian government is still in doubt about the anger in the heart of every Biafran, but it will be bitter for them to realize that we are running out of patience. If they continue with their lawlessness on the formidable leader of Nam, uh, IPOP, we will make Biafran land very hot for them sooner than later. DSS disobedience of court order is a call for anarchy and judiciary are looking the other side. So guys, this is a Nigerian's reaction to, reaction to this. I'm going to drop it here for now. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for this coming out here.